Today we're going to look at the only constellation in the sky, of the traditional ones anyway, that begins with the letter B. And it's Boates, the herdsman. Now, exactly who Boates is supposed to represent in Greek mythology, we don't really know. The best guess is that Boates was the demigod inventor of the wagon and the plough because he set among the stars by his mother, the goddess Demeter, as the constellation Boates, a ploughman who drove the oxen for the plough, Ursa Major, which is always sitting close to Boates. Certainly the word in Greek means ox driver or herdsman, and its proximity to the asterism of the plough matches perfectly. Anyway... Boates is a large northern constellation and it's dominated by the fourth brightest star in the entire sky, Arcturus. And you can find Arcturus by following the curve of the handle of the plough or the arc of the, of the handle. Follow the arc and arc round to Arcturus. It's got lots of bright stars. In fact, it's got six above the fourth magnitude and 21 above the fifth which means from a dark sky location you can see about 30 stars in Boates, making it one of the brightest and most visible constellations of them all. So we have Arcturus, which is a magnitude of 0.2. We have Murfrid, with a magnitude of 2.7. We have Isar, with a magnitude of 2.7. And Seginus, with a magnitude of 3. Necker has a magnitude of 3.5. And Alcalorops with a magnitude of 4.3. Boates doesn't have any Messier numbers or any deep sky objects in it, but then again, it doesn't need to. It's such a brilliantly bright um, diamond of a constellation uh, in the northern sky. It doesn't look much like a herdsman, but then again, most of the constellations don't look much like they're supposed to do. Well, that's Boates. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Bye for now. Dark skies. Happy stargazing. Stay safe.